Hello, and welcome to Runkle of the Bailey. My name is Ian Runkle. I'm a Canadian criminal defense and firearms lawyer. I've had a heck of a day today. My sump pump overloaded and died. I'm sure it's just pure coincidence that Trudeau also had his throne speech today. I'll have some comments on that. I'm going to leave them to the end, so if that's what you're looking for, I'll drop a timestamp here and you can skip ahead to that. What I wanted to talk about is an email scam message that's been going around. They, these things sort of go through trends, and this is sort of the trendy scam message. It's kind of interesting because it's an example of crime in progress. Somebody's attempting to commit a crime against me. Not very successfully, but they're attempting it. And these can be fairly threatening if you don't know what they're about. Let's have a look here. This message, and this is, I've copied the content of this message. So they start off with something along the lines of, you know, I know that uh, something is one of your passwords. And often this might actually be a password you've used because what they'll do is they'll trawl uh, leaked data if there's been a site that's been hacked and passwords have been exposed. And so they might actually find a password that you've used in the past and they throw that in there. And so if you see a password that you've actually used in the past, that can lend a lot of credibility to this and make it a, you know, a really threatening sort of message. If they don't have that, some of the examples of this I've seen just use some random string of characters in the hopes that you'll just figure that they must actually have a password, even though it's not actually a password you've used. And some of them, one of them that I got just had, I know null is one of your passwords, which, it just shows that they didn't configure the program that they're using to spend or send out spam very well. And if you're a master hacker, but you can't actually figure out how to, you know, go about your spamming, that's maybe not the, uh, the best message here. So we see here, this one says, you know, you do not know me and you're probably thinking, why are you getting this email? It's got sort of broken English. That's fairly common in these. In fact, I actually placed a malware on the adult vids, adult porn website, and you know what? You visited this site to experience fun. You know what I mean. When you were viewing videos, your browser started out operating as an as RDP having a keylogger, which provided me with accessibility to your display and webcam. So they're saying, you know, I've taken control of your computer and I've been watching you on the webcam. Immediately after that, my malware obtained every one of your contacts from your messenger, Facebook, as well as email account. After that, I created a double screen video. First part shows the video you were viewing. You have nice taste, oh my God. And second part displays the recording of your cam and it's you. So I already know this is not true because the whole, you have nice taste, come on. Best solution would be to pay me $1,003 which is a very specific number. Uh, sometimes they'll actually give you as like one Bitcoin or whatever else, but here they've given me a specific number of $1,003. We are going to refer to it as a donation. In this situation, I most certainly will, without delay, remove your video. My Bitcoin address is, and I've redacted this, just in, I'm, I don't think anyone watching this is dumb enough to send money to some random guy, but... I don't want to, I don't want that to be a possibility. Uh, you could go on your life like this never happened and you will not ever hear back again from me. You'll make the payment via Bitcoin. If you do not know this, search how to buy Bitcoin in Google. If you are planning on going to the law, surely this email cannot be traced back to me because it's hacked too. Also, this guy's probably in a foreign jurisdiction where it would be very hard for them to actually pursue the guy. I've taken care of my actions. I am not looking to ask you for a lot. I simply want to be paid. If I do not receive the Bitcoin, I definitely will send out your video recording to all of your contacts, including friends and family, co-workers, and so on. Nevertheless, if I do get paid, I will destroy the recording immediately. Uh, if you need proof, reply with, yeah, then I will send out your video recording to your eight friends. It's a non-negotiable offer, and thus please don't waste my time and yours, or mine time and yours, by replying to this message. So it's a weird kind of extortion attempt, and they say donation, but it's clearly an extortion attempt because normally an extortionist would want to actually have some discussion with you so that they can threaten you. Uh, normally also an extortionist would give a little bit more proof than this. If they actually had this content, you know, if they actually had the videos they're claiming to have, 
it would be super easy for them to just drop a couple of frame grabs in there and then you could see that they they were serious they don't do that because they don't have any frame grabs to drop here this is purely made up they're just hoping that you're going to see this panic send them money and of course you'll never see the money again and after you send them the money of course no video gets released because there never was any video in the first place the other thing to be aware of is if they actually had a keylogger on your machine and full control and so forth what they'd probably be angling to do is get your banking details why would they be shaking you down for a thousand and three dollars and three dollars is the best part i love that if they actually could just go directly after your bank even you know bank accounts and so forth so this is a pure scam there's nothing to it other than just they're trying to scare you into panicking and sending them the money ideally before you think too hard about it don't send them any money now i got this one so this is a threat that's aimed at me so you know and they say you know they'll send it to my eight friends I have more than eight friends. I mean, I may not be a super social guy, but more than eight friends. But I'm not going to be sending them any money. So if you don't get a picture of me in some compromising position, you probably know that these scams are RBS. And if you do... What can I say except you're welcome? Yeah, I... The main defense against this is just a little bit of realizing what this is, realizing what they're doing. If they send you a password that's actually a password that you're using for various things, change your passwords because that means you're using an insecure password. But ideally, you should already be pa practicing good password security. That's just sensible. So that's uh, sort of that. Uh, I said I'd comment a little bit on the throne speech and it's going to be a very little bit i mean as per the usual thing they've promised the sun the moon and the stars uh, there's a big list a lot of it is the things they promised last election and didn't make a single move towards but they're promising it again and of course they're not going to do it again but they're promising it again uh, some of them i mean it's this big fantasy laundry list I'm pretty sure in there somewhere they said that they were going to bring my first dog back from the dead. So, yeah. The one thing that does jump out is their promise that they're going to allow municipalities to ban handguns. That's going to be something that needs its own video. I'm going to do one on that. It's going to be a little longer because there's a whole lot of sort of sub-issues on there, both in terms of, you know, whether this is a good idea, and it's not and the legal problems that they'd have to overcome in terms of trying to deal with this so i'll do a separate video on that it's uh i think this whole thing is a little it's frustrating because this is clearly just uh, a lot of pandering and i don't uh i don't really take well to politicians who don't respect my intelligence and i kind of feel like this big giant laundry list of things that they're not going to do is kind of that anyway thank you i hope you found this interesting and educational i want to thank my ten dollar patreon supporters my buddy keith process eng stephen larson general counsel to the ccfr john robinson tim rogers roy haddock frackles dac jean alexandre tessier cameron johnson Sir Goat, Sites and Arms Limited, Chaba Hollow, Peter Heinem, Craig Kwan, Akin uh, Koksal, and North Central Process Service. Thank you. Um, if I mispronounced your name, please let me know. I'll try to do better next time. I appreciate your support. It helps keep this channel going, and I hope I've armed you with knowledge.